Incineroar <laughs> is the way to go to make that upset, you know? Yeah, it's as kind a of... Ganondorf and Incineroar main, I can definitely agree right. with you. It's like, I, you know, I'm, I'm an okay player, but it's nice to have that sort of smash attack that you can throw <laughs> and kill someone at like 30% before hit. It can really pay off. <laughs> a lot of it's going to come down to if Rafi's able to kind of minimize yes. the, the neutral negotiations just to, you know, kind of keep that random sample size of play, um, you know, in play. Because I think, you know, if we, if we roll this out nine times out of ten, Isan's probably going to win. But if we get that one game where it could be anybody's yeah. game, you know, that, that, that's uh, what Rafi's going to go for, especially with so much pop behind Bowser. Let's see what he's able to do. All right. Oh, we're already in winner's quarters. Oh, uh, I guess this is a hand warmer or false stage. Oh, no, no. I guess that was just some sort of strange <laughs> gentleman start. Both players taunting, crouch walking in the middle. These players are going to have a fun time, I feel. I think they're just looking to have some fun Smash Ultimate gameplay. All right. I feel like Rafi would have been able to punish that uh, up B recovery from Esam, but he didn't do it. And here's the Bowser's Fire Breath, immensely powerful, can deal up to 30% if you're caught unaware. Is able to get back. Oh, very, very close call, but able to navigate his way back to the stage. And he's gonna. I think he's gonna be looking out for that. Some of the quick attack. That's the Rafi special. Down air in neutral is the Rafi special. He does that all the time. Sometimes it works out well, sometimes it just hurts him really badly. And one of the fortunate things about Bowser is he lives for a really long time. It's just uh, being able to get back from these edge guard situations is going to be tough. East Sam covering that landing and, you know, all that lag from up special, free up smash for sure. Yeah, there was nothing Rafi could do there. He was trying to go for the high recovery in order to avoid the edge guard from Esam, but instead Esam just covers the up B landing with the uh, up smash. But this time Rafi has Esam at the ledge. Are we gonna see that down tilt two frame? No. Oh, and the uh, Bowser bomb trying to snap the ledge. That would have killed Esam, I believe, if it connected. Yeah, unfortunately for Esam, there's a little bit of disjoint coming out from Pora there. I feel like that. I feel like Bowser Bomb should have a little more. Uh, should have some sort of disjoint or something. I don't know. <laughs> a disjoint on Bowser Bomb. That would be very <laughs> crazy. It would be like Chrom's up B. You would have to respect it at the ledge, or you would, you could get spiked. Oh, that'll be it. Yeah, yeah, the flying slam with that middle Smashville platform that will easily kill Pikachu. All right, he's got to win a couple of few, uh, neutral exchanges here, and he's got 30%. That's the start of it. It just got to be able to get back to the stage. Pikachu is so tough to really work against if you're a big character. Right, up throw, is he going to land a fair? No, Esamp is out of the percent window. And I think Rage also uh, affected that combo. Right. Esamp does a good job putting him right back off stage. Oh, that and fair will not, not quite enough. kill. Yeah, Rafi is. Uh, Esamp overcommitted and Rafi's back on stage and back in business. Let's see, he's just got to win a, one more exchange or two, and he's going to be right there. Uh, no, but... Uh, grab the wrong direction. He got that dash attack, and he's like, oh, let me grab this. Except Pikachu's tiny, and he's on the wrong side. Okay, Bowser Bomb in neutral. Rafi's, Rafi's looking for some cheese right now. They're trying, trying to, to get the Shield Breaker or something. <laughs> yeah. And here we see the start of those lightning moves, and another one starts out. Mixing it up with the dare and still extending with the Smashville platform. How long is this combo going to go? Oh, he tried to end it with the forward smash. Rafi just swatting him back like, you can't destroy me like that, that easily. Now, that was interesting. That tough guy, he just went straight into the up tilt. He got hit by the quick attack. But Another flying slam no, on kill. Back. Now, Bowser's a heavy boy. I've seen these comebacks done by Rafi before, but he can't get edge guarded by Esam. Oh, Bad recovery. No, okay. He's alive. Oh, he's We've living. Been bamboozled. <laughs> Wait, oh, four tail. Isam oh going for the big read. <laughs> Rafi put a forward smash hitting in. a forward smash, but I think that was like the sour spot or something. I felt like that should have extended farther. Oh, and up. Rafi's still living. The thunder and not tracking down. Now he's back on stage, and I think, you know, he's right where he wanted to be. You know, I don't know if he'd say I, I wanted 200 damage, but he's within striking distance. Oh, oh he tried to turn here. around. Back back here has to kill. <laughs> what? Not quite enough. No way. How Bowser's is he still heavy. alive at 212? Oh, no tech. No! Out of all ways to end it, everyone in the audience is so upset. Out of all ways to die, he dies to the thing that could have been prevented. He could have teched that yeah, stage spike. No red flash. He could have teched it. And that was close because the bear that Isim hit with, I saw Rafi, he went for a Koopa Claw for the kill. And if he landed that, it probably would have killed <laughs> at the percent that he was at compared to the percent P uh, Pikachu was at.
And now the Yoshi's coming in out. Isam's like. Oh, Isam <laughs> loves Yoshi. Isam is a big fan of this character. Oh, Rafi's upset. I think everyone wanted to see Rafi take that game, but hey, who knows? Isam switching to the secondary gives Rafi a better chance. You could say. And another gentleman start with the crouch walk into taunt. Kind of like reminiscent of a football where they come out to the middle of the stage, you know, shake hands at the beginning, yeah. flip the coin, and they go right, right into it. A mutual sign of respect. <laughs> Oh, oh, beating the air my. dot 76%. <laughs> it's like the reverse of the last game. Now Rafi's putting in so much work on his sim. Oh, oh my no, god, zero to death. He just got the <laughs> kicks to the face. And you can see Isam over at no player camp, but he's looking at the heavens like, why? What just happened? <laughs> what Rafi. is my life? <laughs> All right, Rafi put up like a billion of damage and answer. Now Isam's putting in work, trying to get back yeah. into it. Everyone getting pop popping off in the crowd. They want to see Rafi take the set, I feel. And I would love to see the set taken by Rafi as well. He is a good friend of mine, and he's just a nice guy overall. Uh oh, oh wait, that down air doesn't spike, so he'll still be living. Yeah, ended up popping up fortune for him because that could have been a bad situation. Oh, he went for an up smash. I'm not sure because they had the air dodge off stage coming out for me, Sam. Up uh, bear won't kill the egg. Two of them. Oh, punishing the Rafi special with the up smash. Now, Rafi playing a lot better against this Yoshi. He's showing that you can't go your secondary against me. I'm I'm not that bad. I can still... Oh, he went for a Bowser bomb. Oh, oh uh, Rising, kill. Rising Koopa Claw gets the kill. And he's up three stocks to one here coming in on game two. And he's putting on more damage. Great parry into that Whirling Fortress. And that Fire Breath, that did 35%. You have to respect that option from Bowser. It can deal so much damage. I think Isim kind of... This is not what Isam had intended. This is not what he bargained for with Yoshi, let me tell you. Yeah. He definitely thought he would be easily able to just destroy Rafi with this Yoshi. But Rafi, he's better than that. He takes that double jump with the back air. He charges that up smash for a bit too long. Trying to go for another one. Isam popping off with these combos, though. Up tilt. Isam able to shield it in time. That's the thing. Uh, combos don't really mean anything if back you don't throw? get the kill. No, down throw instead. Another fire breath, you have to respect it. That's yeah, so huge much. amount of damage, man. There's an out smash. Isam's brought it back to the last stock, but maybe it's too little too late because of the huge lead that Rafi has. Yeah, it's a similar situation to last game, you know? Like, Rafi brought it to last stock, but he was at such a large percent deficit that he wasn't able to bring it back. Isam, on the other hand, he has a character that has amazing combos. He could bring it back, and he has. This is oh essentially even. God. Is he dead? Oh, and there, Rafi's sort of falling apart. I know, he does this so often. Now Isam has the lead. He has to watch out for that Nair. Oh, that, oh, that'll, that'll kill. Do it. Right? Yeah, okay, that'll kill. okay. <laughs> I was so worried. I thought we were going to have a fake news situation there. All right. Yeah, Isam was hype. He's like, oh, I brought this whole entire thing back. And then he had a quick Koopa Claw. And Rafi says, no, you did not bring this back. I brought this back. We got a 1 1 set. And finally, we have our very first Game 3 situation, folks. And who better to have it than between Rafi and Isam, two explosive and aggressive players. I am excited to see how this Game 3 turns out. And we talked about managing the game and kind of putting yourself in positions to win. This is what Rafi wanted. He's within striking distance. It's all going to come down to one game because I think we're still in winner's quarter, so I don't think it's best of five yeah. yet. Winner's quarters, yep. I believe, is always uh, best yep. of three. So he's got one game to prove to prove that he can beat one of the best players in the world. And you know, I, I would take it if I were Rafi. I, I put myself right in there. Pikachu's coming right back out for East yeah. Sam. No surprise there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No show. No, <laughs> not, you're not going to give out. He doesn't even have a show. I've never seen a show from Rafi before. <laughs> Maybe he would bring out the Mario, or if he was really feeling crazy, the Bowser Jr., but definitely not the Shulk. And yeah, it's going to be a little tough because it's Final <laughs> Destination, and we know that, you know, on the first match, Rafi was trying to use the platform on Smashville to cover some of his landings. Didn't do it quite successfully sometimes, but every once in a while, it was enough to get him at least one more neutral oh, exchange for stock. That recovery on stage, Rafi needs to stop going for those. He might need to start sweet spotting for the ledge if he can, because. Every time he recovers on stage, Isam is there to punish it accordingly. But up tilt into up smash, that's what he needs. He just needs to flip the C-stick two times. Yeah, get to pick up some big hits and really exercise that advantage of Bowser's huge health bar versus Pikachu's tiny one being so light.
another up smash. That one was a bit too greedy. Great tech roll back, but Bowser's tech roll isn't very good. It's very strange to you the way he just sort of spins around on the shell. Uh-oh, back throw? There it is. Oh, Rafi's. And that time he's him making some adaptations, going high instead of low into the fire breath. Oh, man. He, he went, spot he, dodges the flanks yeah, then. Yeah, went right the underneath connects. the Koopa Claw. Oh, and there, he recovered just too, too low. There was just nothing he could have done. Right, he's out of options, coming. burned his jump, uh -oh. had nowhere to go. We have that lightning loops. Now, I love the way he's innovating with the down throw mix up now. 62%, 71%. He keeps on going. There's no stopping this man. Uh oh. Oh, that won't kill. Put him off stage, and this is an opportunity to make something happen. Uh, unfortunately, doesn't connect the down tilt and gets punished, it with a, uh, punished for it by a back air. Yeah. There's another back air coming out from me, Sam. One of the biggest problems in the set for Rafi is that Isam's able to punish Rafi's on-stage recoveries, but e or but Rafi isn't able to punish Isam's recoveries. And Isam recovery under the stage, able to make it back with Pikachu's great recovery. Yeah, and after such a promising start, kind of not the uh, ending that Rafi was hoping for. But he's Bowser. He's got to pick up some big, big uh -oh. play. Oh, this Down is trouble. Air. Oh, he still had his jump. Thank goodness. That could have been the very end. And a very unfortunate end for Rafi, too. Yeah, he's in with deep, trying to end it right then and there. Not quite enough to pick it up. Rafi doing a good job holding on to the double jump, like you said. Oh, oh that'll end it, it though. It, Rafi looked like he could have taken that set. He had a very close game one, and. Uh, he took that game two against Isam Yoshi, but Isam clutching it out in a game three situation. 